guys, it was a great week. Don't be squirrely. We must do this again next year. Good morning, Bobcats, and happy Monday. Thank you for joining me this morning for WBLS Morning News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Monday, November the 7th, and it's special area, day 6. That special area, day 6. It is a warm November day. We're going to have a high of 86, a low of 68, with sunny skies all day today. We do have a chance of rain later in the week, which we most definitely need. Our lunch today, we will be having home-styled chicken sandwich, soy butter and jelly sandwich, you may choose from green beans or tater tots. As always, you may choose from 100% fruit juice or fresh Florida fruit. Don't forget, white chocolate or strawberry milk are always a choice as well. If your class would like to present the lunch or the pledge for us, we would love to have you do that. Mr. Jones's class is set for next week. Um, and so we've got some slots open if you'd like to help us out. We want to wish these Bobcats a very happy birthday today. Happy birthday to Doreen and Mr. Griffith's fifth grade class. Happy birthday to Harrison and Miss Doherty's fifth grade class. Happy birthday to Samari and Mr. Griffith's class and to Matthew and Miss Ganaway's class. We hope all of you have a very, very happy birthday. Listen, Miss Young is still smiling from Friday. Wasn't it a wonderful day for our school community? Booster Thon Fun Run went fabulous. We all had a great time. I'm not sure I could count all the smiles that I saw. We'll have lots more smiles as our new playground is built, and that will be a playground that will be inclusive of all of our Buck Lake Bobcats. I checked with the head park ranger this very morning and he said we are over $47,000 raised for our part to go towards our new playground. Give yourselves a round of applause. Look over at your buddy and say great job. That's right. We came together as a community. We worked towards something special and we more than achieved it. Ms. Schmidt's class actually won the challenge for Thursday night, which was to see which class could raise the most money um, on Thursday night. And the Boosterthon reports reported that it was Ms. Schmidt's third grade class. They also came in as the class that earned the most money um, for our school. And you combine that with all of the other money that was raised and that equals a new inclusive playground 
for us. Listen, this Friday you will be off of school and it will be Veterans Day. Veterans Day honors all those in the military who are currently serving or who have served in the past. And so I hope you will find a way to honor and celebrate those veterans. We have uh, Ms. Young's going to be sharing a new book with our older students. And you'll see a special display set up. Teachers, it's not too late. If you would like to bring in a framed photo, we would proudly display it. Just a reminder, there's a difference between Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Veterans Day honors all those veterans, all those Americans who have served in the U.S. military. Memorial Day is a day to remember um, those Americans who have given their life for our country. So that's a, a difference between the two. I'd like to start off our week by sharing some words from one of our very own veterans, Miss Doherty. My name is Mrs. Doherty and I served for five years in the United States Army. While in the Army, I did my initial training on a base in Missouri called Fort Leonard Wood. And then after I graduated from my training, I was sent to Fort Carson, which is in Colorado. From Colorado, I was deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, where I spent a year in Iraq. And when they sent me home, they decided to make my husband uh, an Army recruiter at the time, which is a person that helps people join the military. Um, after he did his training to become a recruiter, they sent us to the state of Maine so that he could recruit soldiers. We did that for a couple of years in the state of Maine. Then they moved us to the state of New Hampshire, right next door basically, um, to do the same job. And then eventually um, they sent us down here to Tallahassee, Florida, where he recruited uh, people out of Tallahassee um, until he retired from the military a couple of years ago. My father was in the Air Force for 26 years. I have an older sister that joined the United States Army and served for five years. And I also have an older brother that served in the Navy for three years. The biggest factor in joining the military was my family. So many people around me um, were currently serving or had served that it was just a way of life in our household. And when I went into high school, my sister, who had joined the military, um, had been in the Army for about a year, and she would come home on leave, which is what we call vacation in the military, and I would just hound her with questions on all of the things that she was doing. And I knew at that time um, that when I got out of high school that I was going to join the Army, and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. My favorite part of the military was all the people that I served with. Um, we did a lot of really cool things together, and when you're away from home and you don't know anybody, all you have is the, is the soldier next to you. So we formed some really good relationships, and I still keep up with um, some of my battle buddies or my friends today, and, and that's truly the best part. When I think about Veterans Day, I always think about my family members that have served. I think about the people that I had the honor to serve next to. Um, but I also think about the people that are serving currently and how lucky we are to live in a place where there are people um, to sacrifice their time um, to serve this great nation. Thank you, Ms. Doherty, for sharing that with us, and thank you and your husband, Mr. Doherty, and I know you have other family members as well who have dedicated um, part of their life to our country um, by serving in the military, and so we thank you, and we honor you this week. Listen, that's all for today, Buck Lake Bobcats. Remember to purr, be prepared. Be upstanding, be responsible, and be respectful. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening.